What's up, YouTube? Um, Ken Enge here for the final video of the day. Um, it's a new segment that I think I'm going to start doing now. Actually, I'll just go ahead and dub this as the first one. I'm going to call this um, Deck Tech Thursdays. So every Thursday, I'll try to have uh, two to three cards up for you to try out. And um, you can try it out at your own, dis you know, your own discretion, whatever you'd, one you'd like to splash in your deck. Um, more than likely, this will all be completely Yu-Gi-Oh related. And um, I hope you do enjoy this new segment. And I'll try to keep this going on every Thursday. It shouldn't be too that hard, right? Just Thursday, once a week, right? I mean, come on. Um, and um, just try to help you out, you know, with your. Uh, Meta game in your town, you know. I'm pretty sure a lot of your friends run different types of decks, so these cards can definitely either benefit you or hinder you. And um, in most cases, you just, you know, you'll have a wow factor. You'll kind of like surprise your friends whenever you do to decide to casually duel. You know, I know with these cards, I've definitely um, surprised a couple of my friends, um, especially with the final two that I chose because the first one I'm still experimenting with. Um, but I hope you do guys enjoy, make sure and give it a thumbs up, uh, go ahead and comment freely as you'd like down in the, uh, in the bottom bar, and of course, you know, like this video to share, so it'll come up in feeds, and, you know, give, give me, you know, just give me some notice, you know, out there in the, uh, community, in the Yugi Tube community, I guess, um, and, uh, make sure to follow me guys on Twitter, and on, uh, Facebook, you know, you can hit me over there. I'll also have the links down there in the uh, in the uh, description bar below. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. I post a lot of photos frequently about a, a lot of different things that I do in my life and here in the town that I live. And um, that'll simultaneously um, post on Tumblr if you choose to find you know uh, follow me on Tumblr. So all right, the first card is non-aggression area for a lot of you uh, new players out there you probably have never heard of this card before you can go ahead and just uh, well, let me move my finger you can pause that to read that if you'd like um, a lot of you new players probably have never seen this card before this is a first edition Phronic Guardian version of it I don't know if there was a later errata of it I doubt it but um, this is a really really old card um, oh man this is probably within the first eight sets of the actual game and let me read exactly what it says it says, you can only activate this card during your standby phase. Discard one card from your hand to the graveyard. Your opponent cannot normal summon, set, and or special summon during the next turn. So, if you, uh, at the time, you know, uh, when this card initially came out, Regeki was still legal. And um, Lightning Vortex was nowhere to be seen. So you could spam this during your standby phase, and it's only for your opponent, it's not you. Although Gorus wasn't out at that time, you know, a lot of different things weren't out at that time. But, um, you could follow this up with a Regekian in your turn and leave your opponent wide open for an attack the following turn. Um, it was like, this was a trap version of, like, Cold Wave, you know, at the time. And, um, it was pretty insane, although both of those cards couldn't go off in one turn. Because, you know, this is standby phase. Well, actually, I think you could. You could spam this your standby phase at the beginning of your main phase one. You could initially cold wave. So um, that at the time was just really, really nasty. Um, and the fact that you discard any one card is really helpful nowadays because a lot of the cards that you have in your hand, like if you run Chaos Dragons or Light Swords, want to be in the graveyard because that's your toolbox. That's where you'll more than likely utilize them and have them ready for other pushing plays like Judgment Dragon, pitch in that third dark. Um, this card is really versatile in the fact that you can run three and um, for a fun play you know with your friends to you know just give them a, a little surprise when they least expect it give this card a try and I'm pretty sure you will uh, you learn to appreciate it as much as I have card number two we've got curse seal of the forbidden spell uh, let me see if you can, you know, go ahead and pause that if you'd like, see if you want to read it. Um, this card came out in the Peak of Chaos. Um, came out in Invasion of Chaos. Just this is common. This card is amazing. Let me read what it says. Discard one spell card from your hand to negate the activation and the effect of a spell and destroy it. Your opponent cannot activate spell cards of the same name. 
including the spell card that is destroyed by this card's effect during the rest of the duel. So uh, initially, you'd hold this off until your opponent decides to go, oh, I'll, um, I don't know, I'll say I'll use Solar Recharge. Bam, and you spam this card. And guess what? The rest of their Solar Recharges can't be played. They can't activate it. They can't do anything with them. And uh, that automatically kills two other cards in their deck, not including the one you just negated. Um, obviously, you can also do this on other cards like Prohibition and things like that that normally would be seen on a sideboard. Um, a lot of those other spell cards, even like as much as you don't see Lightning Vortex nowadays, but it, you can still hit that. MST at 3, hit it with Curse Seal, and they'll more than likely have one to two other MSTs in their hand or deck that's just dead. Um, this card is very nasty, and um, I actually used this on a good friend of mine a few weeks ago on his, uh, what is it? Um, oh goodness, I can't believe I forgot it. It's the uh, Psychic Spell card. Oh, uh, Emergency Teleport, how could I forget? He flips his emergency teleport, I flip Curse Seal, and it forced him to use his Solemn Judgment. He paid half of his life points just to keep his uh, card. It got negated, but it definitely put him in a really terrible bind and where he didn't want to have to sacrifice those 4,000 life points and that powerful uh, trap card on just this one card. This card is pretty nasty, and it can put your opponent in a really bad bind if you use it at the right time. And finally, as just a certain tech pick that I've been showing off on a few of the decks that I've been using, is Judgment of Anubis. At the beginning of this format, I decided I'd been, I've been using this. Um, with MST at 3 and Heavy Storm, there was really no reason not to use this for me. And I've had, it, I've had this card win me games, and it's been really, really fun. And also, like the other two, it has you discard a card, but this one lets you discard any old card. Like I said, you can utilize it just like a non-aggression area splash it in a deck. More than likely the the card you decided to, to discard will be a monster card that you can use later on or it'll benefit you later on during that same duel. Uh, let me read this. Let's see. Discard one card from your hand to negate the activation and the effect of a spell card controlled by your opponent that includes the effect to destroy a spell or trap card or cards on the field and destroy it. Then you can destroy one face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster. So this has a cool spell, you know, negation effect that destroys spells or traps on your side of the field or on both sides. And it also has a ring of destruction effect that'll straight up blow up a face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field and deal them damage not equal to half but equal to the entire original attack. Um, this card is very, very old from Dark Crisis, and it's just an oldie but a goodie, and I do enjoy this card dearly. And um, I've used it on quite a few of my friends and taken them by surprise, especially when they just flip over that MST that they thought um, was just going to nail something that was useful to me. Turns around, and I just shotgun one of their monsters and take a huge chunk out of their life points. Gotta love this card. And um, I hope that you consider at least one of one to two or three of these cards. You know, just just take some time, read through them. Um, you know, casually use them. Right now we're in this toss-up in limbo, kind of like purgatory. Where's the uh, ban list gonna go? You know, waiting for September. What's world's gonna be like? But um, until then, guys, game on, and uh, don't forget to uh, take your deck out. Peace.